mom is having a fit because I'm going to go put up rent in Cuba. This is directly for the Cuban people. So you're not going to make an impact. And you're going to leave Cuba the same as when you arrive. If I can just affect a small group of people, that's my part. That's enough. I feel incredibly at home. It's crazy to be here after wanting to be here for such a long time. We're calling it Broadway Survivor. I'm Sari Cohen with Hollywood First Look. I'm here today with Andy Senior Jr. and Victor Patrick Alvarez, the creative minds behind Revolution Rent. First of all, you two, I just want to say thank you for bringing this brilliant documentary to life. Thank you. Very welcome. Thank you. How did the two of you actually come together to decide you were going to do this? Yeah, so I was in um, uh, New York and uh, a mutual friend of ours, uh, Janet DeCall, says, hey, uh, you need to meet Andy. You need to meet him right now. And we're having lunch uh, in Upper, it was Upper West Side. Yeah, Upper West Side, and Andy's favorite uh, Chinese spot. And he sat me down and he said, hey, uh, how would you like to come to Cuba and just you know, bring, bring your camera? And I was like, whoa, what? No one's ever asked me that before. You know, and I've, I have done a, a lot of Cuban American projects in the past. And, you know, up until Andy, up, up until those words came out of Andy's mouth, I had, I had no idea, you know, that, that that was even a possibility. And, and, and not only like, how do you want to, how, how about coming to Cuba? It was like, and, and you got to pay your own way because there's no money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there's no money. <laughs> and there's no money. It's just like, do you want to come film me? No, do you want to come, you know, with, with your camera and see what happens? But there's no money. Andy, for you, especially because you played Angel, right? So this wasn't just a journey for you as an artist, but this was also a journey that was deeply rooted in your family. Can you explain a little bit about how both of those intertwined? Absolutely. You know, all my life, uh, I've, I've wanted to go to Cuba. I, I deeply identify as Cuban, even though I was born in, in, in the United States, in Miami. I grew up in a what I call a Cuban neighborhood, and all my friends were, were Cuban, and all the food we ate was Cuban, and it was just like, we live, I was born in Cuba as far as, as, far as I knew, <laughs> except I actually never had been there. Um, my, my two sisters had been there because uh, they were born there, but I was the only one who hadn't. And I was, you know, I, I, the one who, I'm the one who identified with being Cuban the most. Um, so to be able to go to Cuba, not just go like, oh, I'm visiting or, um, you know, as, as a tourist or to visit family, but I'm going to go there to put up rent, which is, uh, such a deep part of who it is that I am as well and how I identify myself um, and such a such a huge source of love for me to be able to 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 know that I'm bringing that to Cuban artists and to the Cuban audiences and that that was the first you know musical that they were gonna do in 50 years and I get to do that they're dealing with life and death issues Nos han quitado la capacidad de luchar por lo que realmente quieres. ¿Qué quieres? Libertad. It's difficult. No están aquí, del grupo. Están individualmente aquí. ¡Libertad! No. That's the group. ¡Libertad! The power just went out again. We're working on that. Es como si fuera un cuerpo. Y eso es lo que es un grupo. Now we're starting to get there. 525,600 minutos. Me identifico con muchos personajes de la obra. Estando en los ensayos de Ren, decidí hacerme las la pruebas para el Echagui. What was it like capturing this? So you're watching, you're telling the story of Rent, and then all these stories are unfolding within this story. So, Victor, did you see it happening in real time as it was happening with Andy? Uh, the whole thing, the whole thing. Uh, you know, like um, the, the day that uh, the normalization talks, Andy and I were texting on our, you know, $10 a, a week uh, cell phone in Cuba. And he's like, yo, you got to come to theater. You got to come to theater. It was like, it was, it was all real time. And I think, uh, you know, for me, I think the hardest part is that the, you know, that there was, there's just so, there was so much happening. And, and what really felt like um, the, the most emotional attachment was Andy. I know Jonathan Larson has had several different 
meanings of the word rent, but I want to know personally, what does it mean for the both of you? Yeah, rent, you know, uh, the rent that Jonathan uh, was particularly interested in was the ripped apart. Um, and in the song rent, uh, how do you connect in an age where strangers, landlords, lovers, your own blood cells betray? What binds the fabric together when the raging shifting winds of change keep ripping away? Um, and that's, I think we're still living in that question. Um, right now, even more so than, than uh, back when we were putting up the show in, uh, in, in Cuba. And I think that the documentary um, offers uh, uh, answers or possibilities um, to that question. Um, in the same way that uh, Rent uh, offers those same uh, possibilities and those answers. Beautiful, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> with with uh, I was interviewing Andy on the on the Malecon in Havana, and it it it, 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 it every time I, I hear Revolution Rent, this is the first thing that comes to mind. And you know what what it means to me was what Andy said in this interview, is that we we don't own anything. You know, we just rent it for a little while. And that's like one of the biggest phrases that stuck with me and is like ingrained in my blood now um, with, with everything that I do. And I think the more we look at life like that, I think I think the the more beautiful, you know, things could be, you know. So that's that's what rent uh, means to me is we don't we don't own anything. Everyone, make sure you go check out Revolution Red. It debuts June 15th on HBO Max. I'm Sari Cohen. See you next time. This is not another play. When we give ourselves, we create opportunities and possibilities for others. La única manera también de subsistir uno como ayudándose uno a los otros. The most meaningful part of rent is how a group of friends form a family and how they take care of one another. Así que le doy gracias a ustedes por ser mi familia.